Okay, guys. Now, you must first understand that forces can come in any direction, you know, guys. Now, I want to take my time to teach you over here on the calculation method. Okay? Now, as I told you this now earlier, forces can come in any direction. Now, for an example over here, I have a force of 100 newtons okay and it makes an angle of 30 degrees with the horizontal all right guys now what we are going to learn is we are going to learn how to bring your force over here to the x-axis and how to bring over here your force to the y-axis now guys for the x-axis, let us label this as fx and for the y-axis, let us label this as fy. Okay, now I have prepared a set for you to remember. Guys, there is another way to understand this, but hopefully over here you will use my method because it ensures that you don't have any problem later. Okay, fx equals to f cos theta now remember fx can also be f sine theta but i'm only going to teach you one fy equals to f sine theta now fx equals to f cos theta and fy equals to f sine theta now in one condition the condition is guys eh, the angle this 30 over here is net the angle must be between the force and the fx that means if you want to use fx equals to f cos theta which is easier you know guys because you just have to remember fx is f cos theta fy is over here f sine theta but you must understand that the angle over here that you have must be between the force and also the fx now while I'm teaching you this, uh, there are many students over here that actually ask me, sir, I don't understand. Why are you bringing your force to Fx? Why are you bringing your force to Fy? Now, to, to let you to uh, understand over here the concept what we are studying, guys, eh? I just want you to imagine over here, okay, we have a box. Okay, simple concept, guys. Eh? Now, let's just say over here, you are pushing the box over here in this direction. Okay? Now, over here, what happens over here? You're pushing the box with a force over here of 50 newtons. Now, basically over here, the box moves in what we call over here, the horizontal line, which you will say Fx over here equals to 50 newtons. Am I right? Now, let's just say the same box, guys. Eh? But this time, you push it over here with an angle. And that angle over here, let's just say, is 30 degrees. That means over here, you're pushing same force, 50 newtons, but you're pushing it over here with an angle of 30 degrees. So I'm asking you over here, what is the force on the x direction? Okay, for you to find out what is the force on the x direction, you have to bring your 50 over here to the x direction. So over here, that's the reason why you learn this, guys. That means Fx equals to F cos theta. So what you do, you just take 50 and you tell cos 30. You bring it over here to the Fx direction over here. 50 cos 30. Okay. Now, at the same time over here, because the force over here has an angle, that means your force is acting on your x direction and it's also acting over here on your y direction because you have an angle you know guys so to find my force on the y direction it's going to be fy equals to 50 sine 30 degrees so you see over here you have a force on the x direction you also have a force on the y direction okay now Hopefully over here you understand the most important thing is where you remember over here this concept this part guys my advice just remember it Okay, this one over here It's better that you just remember 
because it solves you over here a lot of problem okay fx equals to f cos theta fy equals to f sin theta but in a condition the theta must be between the force and the fx all right